Hey everyone, in this example, I want to show you a very quick way in which we can create a microservice using Python and Wayscript. What we'll do is create a service that takes in some data from an Excel spreadsheet and gives us back some key statistics about that data, including the average, the mean, the max, and a lot more. We'll do this all using an HTTP trigger and it'll take us just a few minutes. Let's jump right in. Starting out, like I said, we'll be using the Python HTTP trigger and we can clone a sample that works. Whenever we click on new layer, we can select Python HTTP. By cloning that template, we already have a HTTP trigger set up and we can view it by clicking on the triggers panel if it isn't already visible and clicking on it. So what this does essentially is gives us a HTTP endpoint that we can have some code execute whenever a request or a user visits it. In this example, we are executing the command of python response.py, and you can change this command here. But we'll leave it the same, and we'll just make our changes in our response.py file. We can find it in our file browser over on the left. The code that we're using here, I will just go ahead and copy and paste in some code that I've already typed up for this example, and we'll talk through it. Talking through this code, what we're doing here is we have our imports that we'll be using, We'll be using the WayScript imports to handle the trigger functionality. Then we have pandas and JSON. In short, we're expecting the user to send us some data to our microservice. We'll do some processing on that data and send back the results that the user is expecting. To access information the user sends, we'll be using this WayScript import of context. And what this allows us to do is to get information from the user about what they're sending us. Since we're expecting data from the user as a JSON, then we'll access that data with this line here. So request body will be the data that we get with a data struct sent from the user. Once we get that data, we'll just convert it into a pandas data frame and use a handy method called describe. And finally, using Wayscript, we'll just send it back using the trigger. Perfect. So we will make sure that we save our file. And there's a, an important note here that we will create a requirements.txt because we want this to work in both a dev and prod environment. So requirements.txt, we will open up our terminal. So we'll click on it. We have a few things we need to install. Wayscript works as an environment. So we need to install all the dependencies that we need. We will do that by saying pip install pandas. Once that installs, we need to make sure that we write this to our requirements.txt. We can do that with a terminal command of pip freeze. We'll use a bracket to tell pip where to write the requirements to, and we'll put in requirements.txt. This will populate our file with all the dependencies that we need to have this execute properly. What we can do next is we can either go through a process of sending a request that requires authorization, or for this example, what we'll do is go ahead and turn all of these endpoints to be publicly accessible. This just saves us a little bit of time, but if you're interested in how we can send an authorized request to these endpoints so we can keep these private, There'll be docs linked for that in the description of this video. So we have all of our code set up. Now, how the user interacts with our microservice, they are sending a request to this endpoint. So th what that means is on their local machines, they need to have some data and send it to the endpoint that we're creating. So on a local machine, it would look like this. A user has a local avocado.csv that they want more detailed statistics about. And in this CSV file, there's information about prices. A user can pull out those prices and send those prices to this endpoint. So we have a new one now. I will go ahead and paste it in. So this endpoint, remember, comes from our triggers and it will be this value here. We can copy that and make sure it matches here. And we can send a request, a post request, to that endpoint with our data. And we'll send a request on our local machine to our brand new microservice that we've just created and we should give back information about our data from the service. We'll give it just a second to process our information. There's thousands of lines in the CSV. And as you see, we get back detailed information about our data. In this example, as you see, we're just doing one line of processing our information in this describe. But you could imagine that you did a lot more and sent back more detailed statistics about the user's information for them. I hope this shows you how we can create simple microservices and get them up and running in just a few minutes. If you have any questions about anything in this video, please let us know and we'll be happy to help. Until next time.